Hello, everybody. Um, I want to go over your pottery project um, that we have in pottery class. Um, this one is on the pottery wheel. Um, so remember, I, unless it's the first time I'm saying it, um, you are, the way that I kind of divide this class is, is that we have these hand building projects and we have these pottery wheel projects. So the pottery wheel for your first quarter um, um, of being in class, well, that's first quarter, third quarter, um, we do a place setting. Um, and on that place setting, you make bowls, um, you make cups, and you make plates. Um, and typically, um, unless there's, I don't know, something going on in the world like, like a pandemic, um, typically we eat in class and, um, and, and kind of enjoy um, just experiencing what it's like to eat out of the stuff that we, that we made um, kind of thing. So, so we will see if we're able to do that this year um, unless something, you know, world changing happens. Um, so looking at this sheet, um, there are some things that I want you to kind of look at on your own time because um, we are going to focus on teaching you how to use the pottery wheel in class for a bulk of one of, of the quarters, okay? Uh, because I can't send a pottery wheel home with you, for example. Um, I might have a handbell project that I really need you to do in class, um, like like coil building because because you just can't do that at home. Um, and slab building, um, we will see about that one. That that will probably be also something that that you might have to do in, in school. Um, we'll see. We'll see how things play out. Uh, but hopefully everything is okay. Um, so on this one, I want you to type in making pottery clay, pottery clay making uh, make making safety from Expert Village. It's three minutes and eight seconds. You know, type that in YouTube, um, and you should find the video. It's three minutes and eight seconds long. Maybe it's three minutes and seven. You know, or three minutes and nine, it's okay, same thing. But he goes over about safety in the classroom. And this is this is honestly more about my safety um, because I'm in the class, I'm exposed to the clay dust um, and stuff like that. You're in here such a short amount of time compared to the 20 plus years I've been around clay um, that it's more to protect me. Um, so I would appreciate you kind of going through this. Um, watch that, answer these questions. Um, and then, um, and then you're kind of done with that. Um, so he actually talks about wearing wearing a mask, um, and the best mask to wear is the N95 mask. You know, um, because that does stop 95 percent of the particles you know that are floating around. So, um, and that's when you're really kind of mixing clay up. Um, if you're working with it, it's not that big a deal. Um, that's why when we clean up, we don't use a brush to clean up the clay area. We get a wet rag and we wipe things down so then the dust isn't so bad. We don't go around and sweep. We would mop the floor um, to help um, so I don't die in excruciating pain um, of having something called silicosis, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, these are your projects. Um, I will modify this depending on how much time we have in class. Typically, we do four bowls, two cups, um, and two plates. So I'm probably going to reduce that down um, in time in terms of how much we're doing. Um, the downside with reducing how many bowls to make is then your cups aren't going to be very good because the more practice you get on the wheel, the better your projects look. Okay. So if I start cutting things out, I don't, I'm just kind of torn on, on how we're going to do this. Um, the clay weight is two pounds. Um, your minimum height for your bowls are three inches. Your minimum weight is six. So out of two pounds of clay, you should easily get that measurement. If not, your project's probably way too thick. Um, and you could probably even extend this to four inches and seven inches if you have this beautifully thin bowl um, design. So thin even sides, nine degree foot. So on a bowl, the bottom part is called the foot and then the body and the very top is called the lip. Um, if you have something like this, you would almost call this the neck um, and then obviously the handle um, on there. So it kind of talks about how much weight to use, um, what are the measurements. This will be posted in class, so you get that. Um, here are some tips um, for bowls, tips for cups you can read through um, on your own time. I don't want to waste too much time with this. Sliding down. Um, and the bulk of your grade is four bowls that meet the requirement, 15 points, or that's 30% of your grade, you know, 30% of your grade um, for the cups, and then 10% of your grade for the plates. Plates are are pretty easy to do. Okay. And then you have to get everything on Artsonia. Um, when you put it on Artsonia, you will put them, you will take pictures of these individually. So if you have four bowls, four separate pictures 
Um, and then you got to write down the um, your recipe for glazes that you use when you do that. Two cups, two separate pitchers. Two plates, two separate pitchers. But then I also want you to have a place setting uh, pitcher. So I'm going to go here. Uh, not there. <laughs> go here. Um, so I want a Titan pot. I'm sorry, Titan plat fill on Arsonia. Um, and I went, uh, you know, down a couple years. And these were, this is one of my class. So she, right here, Kirsten, she had, you know, four or five bowls, two cups, two plates. And then she figured out whichever one worked the best, you know, for her place setting. Because you keep your best plate, you keep your best cup, you keep your best bowl. Um, it's because we're going to uh, be turning that into um, a pitcher like this. Um, so you have your place setting. Now you can look at these and say, gosh, I really like, you know, this pattern, for example. So let's see if Casey followed directions. Um, he did. Um, so he says, says, well, for the whole set, dip the whole thing in blue jean. Okay, he's got to work on his English a little bit. So there's a glaze called blue jean. He dipped the entire thing in, and then he did a quarter dip on Caribbean green, and then he dipped a little part of green on the side with violet and dipped the rim in bright yellow. And that's how he got his, that's how he got his look. So it's up to you to see if you can duplicate that if you like that style. And he calls it the Garden of Eden. Um, that's really actually kind of a nice, nice, nice name. Good job, Casey. Um, so, um, so you're going to take your final picture of that. Let's go back to the worksheet here. So, watch the videos. Gosh, it's not working very well. Watch the videos so you know um, about clay safety in terms of the dust um, and how to keep your art teacher safe. Um, otherwise, in class, we will go over how to use a pottery wheel. So hopefully you can look forward to that.